Games, games, games. A lot of games coming. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up bro mr thumbs man give the video a like give the video a like let's get right to the news for this video we're gonna look at the huge games coming to the nintendo switch xbox one and playstation 4 for the month of October. So, without further ado, on October 1st, Destiny 2 Shadow Keep, the all new expansion DLC coming to Destiny, launches on October 1st. I might try it out. I don't know how much it is. I don't know if, I don't, I doubt if it's free, but. Destiny 2 Shadow Keep launches October 1st. It keeps on going. Now, there are tons of games coming out in October. For this video, we're just discussing the huge games and the games that pique my interest. So, the next game also, October 4th, three days after, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Drops, drops October 4th, October 4th. The last Tom Clancy game I played was Blacklist on my Wii U. So the game looks cool. A lot of these games I'm not getting just because I don't have time to play, bro. Two games I'm playing right now, Link's Awakening, NBA 2K20. Still heavy in rotation. Let's go. I'm recruiting a glass lock. And another pure sharpshooter. I'm grinding my pure sharp and gonna make my grand entrance to the park with this new build. So, um, um Tom Clancy's um, Ghost Recon Breakpoint drops on October 4th. Next game. Xbox just had an inside Xbox, and this game was heavily advertised. Um, they talked about this game, took a good chunk of time. Talking about this game, Atlas, coming exclusively to the Xbox One and PC. Is this what Sea of Thieves should have been? Time will see. I'm interested to see how much this game is going to cost. But Atlas comes out October 8th. I'm not a big fan pirate ship games, bro. And so even when Xbox was talking about this game... Uh, like, yeah, if it's free, uh, if it comes to Game Pass, uh, then I'll play it. <laughs> All right, next game, Trine 4, The Nightmare Prince, comes out on October 8th on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. I had Shrine on the Wii U again, a cool platform puzzle type game, Shrine Give this game a look on your console. The next game, I might. This is another game I might pick up depending on where I'm at with my gaming. Ukulele and the Impossible Layer drops October 8th, bro. Will I beat this game? Play this game? I don't know. And I still haven't even beaten. I still need to beat Gears 5. I still, I still need to beat Anthem, bro. I'm, I'm going to be playing Anthem tonight with the sponsors. I'm going to let you know what channels I'm going to be streaming it on at the end of this video. All right. Next. Witcher 3 for the Nintendo Switch comes out October 15th. I have to admit, I have this game on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox. And my Xbox One. I still haven't beaten it. I might try to beat it on my Xbox One when the game drops. Again, so many games, so little time to play. But if you want to play Witcher 3 on the go, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on the Nintendo Switch drops on October 15th. Boy, next game, Little 
Town Hero Boy comes out on the Nintendo Switch on October 16th. This game looks cool, looks clean. I like the art style. Drops on October 6th on the Switch. Next, I was surprised at this one. I just always thought Travis Strikes was a Nintendo exclusive no-brainer. But Travis Strikes again. No More Heroes Complete Edition is coming to the PlayStation 4 and PC on October 17th. No More Heroes. There you go. Get ready for Marvelous to copyright claim your gameplay. Next game, bro. It seems like this game is getting slept on. Plant vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville officially launches on October 18th. Now, the Founders Edition recently launched. I don't know if it's still available, but it came with like bonus content and whatever. Whatever. I'm really liking this game. This game is lit, bro. But the game officially launches on October 18th. Garden Warfare. Bro, battle for Naperville. Get good or get out. The next game, Ring Fit Adventure. The game no one asked for, but Nintendo gave it to you. Ring Fit Adventure drops on October 18th. This is probably going to be a hard pass. <coughs> Unless my wife, like, wakes me up. Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan. She doesn't call me Obi-Wan, but you got to get this game for me. I doubt it, because we're about to have a baby. <laughs> she ain't playing no Ring Fit Adventure. All right. Next game. Now, this is probably be the next game I'm definitely picking up. WWE 2K20 launches on <coughs> PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Probably, uh, probably going to be picking this up on <coughs> my Xbox One October 22nd, bro. October 22nd. We're not editing this, bro. Fix my headphones. And let's continue. Um, It's been a minute since I last time I played a WWE game was on my Switch at 8 frames per second. So we're going to get it on my Xbox One this time. WWE 2K20. Boy, it drops October 22nd. The games keep coming. I already have this game pre-ordered. Call of Duty Modern Warfare for the first time is going to be cross-play. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC. The game launches October 25th. It's already locked and loaded on my X, bra. And so, definitely, definitely, definitely picking up that card, boy. What you know about that card, boy? The next game. This was the game that started off Microsoft's E3. The Outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds comes out. PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Also on October 25th. I don't know what these developers were thinking. Launching this game on the same day as Call of Duty. You already know what's going to happen. Call of Duty is going to probably overshadow it. But this game does look dope. But I'm getting Call of Duty. I ain't going to have time to play both these games. Next game, bro, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz comes out on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. I'm probably going to pick this up on my Xbox. I've been getting most of my third-party games on my Xbox recently, bro. So, I'll probably pick this up if I have time. Depends on my gaming schedule. I don't know if I even have time to play this game. But Super Monkey Ball, I remember playing this on my GameCube. Games were lit, bro. Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. It comes out on October 29th. And the game I'm definitely getting on my Switch in October is Luigi's Mansion 3. Comes out on Halloween, bro. Definitely day one by love. The first one on the GameCube, second one on the 3DS, this one on the Switch. Looks like it's going to be dope, too. All right, dudes. These are the October big games coming out. Which games did I mention you're going to be picking up? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boys.